Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marty's Toy Box. For today's video, we have a very exciting unboxing. This is now the most expensive belt that I have in my collection. This came to a total of, I want to say, one eighteen hundred, nineteen hundred, um, all together with the um, price itself, shipping, and taxes. And I want to say this took about maybe six months to arrive and as you tell by the video this is the iwgp ic title by good smile shop and this is a very expensive belt this is the 50th anniversary edition and there was also the world title as well but i am gonna be purchasing the world title off of somebody who has one uh, i think i'm gonna get the classic shields of that anyways i decided hey you know i should go with the ic and after seeing some reviews on the belt, I am kind of nervous to open this up because turns out New Japan crafted this or Good Smile Shop crafted this and molded it based off of a bootleg belt, not the official. So I sort of have low hopes going to this unboxing. Anyways, let's get it down on its side here. I already have the top opened up, but as you see on the side, it says New Japan. Uh, number 94, I'm assuming, is like what this belt is. Uh, there's a barcode and stuff, like fragile and everything. Don't know what the Japanese letters there mean, so I'm assuming it's just saying uh, IWGP Intercontinental Championship, possibly. Anyways, when you open up the box, this is what you see. You see the belt all laid out in there. And it's fit nice and snug into the corners on this um, piece of styrofoam right here. Um, and then there's inserts to the belt. I kind of already took the belt out of the bag, got to be honest. So this was packaged differently. But there was foam inserts on the belt bag protecting the belt. And then once you get it out of here it is a pretty heavy belt i gotta say and the box is very long i don't know the exact weight on this belt but one thing they did do good on this is the belt bag this is the nicest belt bag that i have in my collection and on it you see 50th anniversary king of sports new japan pro wrestling right here it feels really nice um i don't know what kind of material it is but it's really nice um it's gray and then of course the logo is etched on so it sort of pops out and stuff like that and then you flip the belt bag over now with this belt bag it is just like everyone that's not wwe shop you have the zipper but it doesn't go all the way down so you unzip it and then let's pull out this title. This leather strap is pretty good. I don't know exactly what kind of leather it is. Let me try to readjust this and push this back and stuff like that. There we go. So I don't know what kind of leather this is, but it is pretty nice. We're gonna pull this side out. So let's take a look at the back of the belt. There's two belt tips on this. Um, there's one right there. It has like New Japan markings and a number on it. Uh, you have all the screws going across. And then you have another belt tip right here. And then uh, you have a sticker right there in the middle. I don't know what that's supposed to be there for. But it's there. So now you flip the belt over and this is what you see the iwgp intercontinental belt so you have intercontinental champion intercontinental wrestling uh i'm assuming that's japanese right there I'm not gonna try to pronounce it uh iwgp in the middle then you have the two side plates on here the domes do pop out um and then the domes do pop out on here as well one thing that's disappointing is the New Japan logo does not pop out. Um, but it says King of Sports, New Japan Pro Wrestling. 
And there's some detailing on the main plate. There's not really much behind the uh, IWGP logo right here. Um, it is a pretty heavy belt. I want to say maybe six pounds or something like that. The snap box on this is kind of weird as well, if I'm being honest. But we got it snapped up so we can just sit it normally right there. Let's zoom this out a little bit. So this is what you see when it will be in a display case. You really just see the main plate. You don't really see the side plates or anything. Uh, here's a comparison to my hand. It's about one and almost a half, I would say. Uh, I always do hand comparisons to hope you've seen any of the other ones. Or if you keep up with my belt unboxings, then you would know the size of this. Um, I want to say it's four millimeter plates as well. Uh, there's that. It seems like it's four millimeters. Disappointed they are not six millimeters, um, but it's four, so I mean, hey, I guess it's not two at least. Um, you have just the basic etching on the leather right here. Side plates once again. And then the belt tip on the back that I did not show is right there. It says IWGP. So that is the unboxing of the IC title. Um, come back in a couple of days. And you will see the full in-depth review on this title. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.